The Caterpillar 627K is a twin-engine scraper weighing around 41 tonnes. But of course, that's the full-size version and we're looking here at the Tonkin model of it. Like the rest of the Tonkin Caterpillar line, it comes with a small card which has technical details and a photo of the real scraper. Let's reach out to the model by reaching into the box and pulling it out. Out comes the 627K and it's resting in some preformed formers which have been preformed to form some protection. But it didn't work fully this time because there were a couple of loose parts in the box. The loose parts are from the front and it's the exhaust pipe and a handrail. And it's time for our old friend Sue Perglu to do her stuff. So with a blob here and a blob there and a bit of careful fixing, the 627K is restored back to an X-Works condition. Starting underneath there's some reasonable detail, particularly at the rear end. And the big tyres have a realistic tread pattern. They are mounted on reasonably detailed wheels. And moving to the cab, the detail is good, there's a cat logo on the seat back. And there are small grab rails outside. On the roof the beacon light is painted so it's not so good, but there's a decent aerial and air horn. Many of the handrails are thin metal, and a plus point is the soft hydraulic hoses all around the gooseneck. And these increase the realism. The bowl and apron are nicely cast, and there are small graphics to add detail. At the back the rear engine looks good, and there's a protection guard for the radiator. Also at the back the top grab rails are made of metal, with the ladders going up the side being made of soft plastic. Yes indeedy, we're back out on the Cranes Etc test track and we find that the scraper is a nice roller, helped by its heavy weight. The gooseneck is also very flexible with a very good range of movement and if you doubt that, just try making the same movement with your own neck. Or you could try just shaking your head and the gooseneck on the model facilitates the same kind of action. There is a small ram which also controls the gooseneck hitch point but it is a bit stiff and awkward to move. Moving now to the scraping action and the apron at the front opens to a good height and the mechanism is smooth with enough stiffness to hold any pose. Going to the back of the bowl the ejector also moves but it's a clunkier mechanism and there's no stiffness in the ram that pushes the ejector plate. Still it's good that you can at least pose it in any position you want. At the front there's a hook bar which lowers so you can get some help from the scraper in front. And the other thing you can do is to lower the bowl from a transport position to a cut position. But on the review model at least, the rams that control this were very stiff indeed. At least the scraper is able to have a go at gouging out your desk surface. If you don't happen to have any earth that needs shifting, then the model can double up as a transport load. And so all you need is a decent sized truck to put it on. So here we're using the massive twin grab hand crane to get the scraper onto the truck. And what a pity it is that they don't make these hand grabbers for the full size machines. This is a nice Caterpillar scraper model from Tonkin Replicas. It has a very good detail level, although it is a bit delicate as a result. So you need to be a little careful how you handle it. It's also got a range of features which mostly work well enough. So if you like heavy earth moving machinery, the 627K is highly recommended. 